welcome back to the Seven Games of Way, Part 2. We're going to start with a look at the three judges. So each of the three judges have responsibilities. We have the Cardboard Judge, the Smart Board Judge, and the Rules Judge. Cardboard Judge manages the Way Cards. The Way Cards are used to make the teams, and they also manage the Seven Games of Way. And what they do is they will put these cards into what we call place cards. And you simply place the cards in the seven slots. So here you see the seven games. Our next judge is the smart board judge. They manage pull tabs for the games. They run the clock, the dice, the score sheets, issue clues, and troubleshoot anything that uh, might go on with the smart board. Next, we have the rules judge, sometimes referred to as the discipline judge. So they issue yellow and red cards for disruptions or disrespectful behavior. They help the cardboard judge when necessary. They keep track of captain's challenges on their record sheet and they help students follow the rules. And we ask them to keep these things in mind. All three judges judge all games. Two, keep your eyes and ears on the game. Three, judges keep to the back of the room, forces students to speak up. Four, keep the game going, keep teams on track. Five, stick to your role. Six, don't play favorites with your friends. Seven, Make sure there's no help from the audience. Eight, before you meet as a team to judge, vote by yourself. L for the group on the left, R for the group on the right, or you can cover the letter of the group you don't want to vote for. So you do the same if the teams went first or second. And so here you go, just cover the one that did not win. Now, Here's the rules judge, the yellow card, red card uh, record. So if a student gets a yellow card or a red card, they put their name here and they just simply check off if it was yellow or red. So a yellow card can move to a red card if the student continues the behavior. And we just said uh, red card, or no, the, the red team or the green team. So you can circle which, which they are. Keep track of the challenges and also keep track of who didn't hand in their game cards that week. And also monitor when a team wins a clue, then um, you have to monitor the team captain highlighting the clue that was received. Now this is a class set of cardboards. Uh, we'll go into cardboards at a later date, but these are simply the receptacles for student game cards. This is where they hand in their game cards. And if you open up the cardboard, you're going to see this uh, record sheet where students mark in what students got on their game cards. And here's a little uh, advice section. And uh, here's the advice that they simply write the number in into this area. Next we have the captain's job and um, this sheet goes into the binder which the captain, team captains manage. If a student on their team gets a yellow card or a red card, they'll put the student's name here. Here's a section for captain's challenges. So if they win or lose the challenge, um, you will put the corresponding letters in here. Now, a captain can swap out a player if they're chosen and the game isn't appropriate for that particular student due to uh, language difficulties or handicap, what have you. You can swap out a player for a player, but uh, record that here. 